you can create rules to automatically accrue time off for employees, such as one paid leave hour for every 40 hours worked. Once you set up your company level rules, you can assign these rules to employees. Employees will then begin to accrue time off as they are paid. Before you begin, make sure that the hour type you want to earn, such as vacation or sick leave, is set to track time off. Go to Settings, Payroll Settings, Hours and Money Types. Find the hour type in the list, vacation for example, and confirm that track time off is set to yes. If it is not, you'll need to edit the hour type. Check the box next to track time off and click save. Repeat this step for any other hour types you want to begin accruing. Once you have set up at least one hour type to track time off, go to settings, payroll settings, time off accruals to begin setting up your company rules. This page will show the list of your company level accrual rules. Click Add New Rule. Enter a unique title for this accrual rule. Enter the formula for how many paid leave hours will be earned for every hour paid or worked. You will need to determine if you want paid leave hours to accrue based only on hours worked or all hours, both worked and non-worked. For example, you want employees to earn one hour of vacation for every 40 hours actually worked, but not accrue on unworked hours such as vacation, sick, or holiday. Your formula would look like this. Employees earn one vacation hour for every 40 regular, overtime, and double time if used, hours worked or paid. Keep in mind if you have added your own custom hour types, they would also show here in this list. If you want a maximum annual earnings limit for this rule, choose Set Limit and add the number of hours. Once the employee has accrued hours up to the limit, the accrual will stop until the next calendar year. If you want to allow available hours to carry over to the next calendar year, choose Allow Carryover. All available hours will carry over to the next year. If you want to add a limit to the number of carried over hours, choose Limit Carryover Hours and enter the amount. If you want the carried over hours to expire in the next calendar year, choose Carryover Expiration and enter the month and day of the expiration date. Now you can immediately assign this rule to active employees. Select the employees in the drop-down list who should be assigned this rule, then click Save. Continue to add new rules as needed. You can also manage your employee accrual rules on their individual records. Go to your employee list and click the employee's name. On their Time tab, you will see the time off accrual rules they are currently assigned, if any. You can add or change their assigned rules here. The rule will immediately begin to accrue with the employee's first paycheck after the rule is assigned. When you run a payroll, the hours you enter on Payroll Step 1 will determine how many time off hours will accrue. For salaried employees assigned to an accrual rule, you will need to enter an actual number of hours in Payroll Step 1 in order for them to accrue time off. These entered hours will not affect their salary rate, it is only for the purpose of calculating the accrued time off. When you continue to Step 2, you will see the accrued time when you click View Details. Once you have approved the payroll, accrued hours will show on the employee's pay stub. The Payroll Register Report and the Individual Employee's Paychecks tab will also show the employee's accrued hours for that paycheck. The employee can also view this in their own portal. If you have any questions, click the Get Help link at the top of any page to visit our Help Center.